Georgia having a sit down and we had to carry everything up a flight of stairs. We've just arrived in our room. Super room. And I'll show you the view in a minute. And this is our view, spoilt slightly by the van outside. But he'll be moving soon. Super big bed. As Georgia takes, tends to take a lot of room up. We took um, Joey down to the beach and went looking for the dolphins and hadn't been looking long and suddenly Georgia spotted them. They were in the same place that we saw them last year, near the island car park. It's about seven o'clock in the evening. We're down on the beach and uh, they've got the lifeboat launcher. Going to have a trial run, I suppose. And uh, George's brother, Steve, um, was uh, responsible or one of those largely responsible for making this launcher at Supercat. And the launcher is now going out to bring in the lifeboat, which apparently there was a shout out um, to Portreath. So the lifeboat is, you can't really see it. And the launcher has now uh, just about reached the lifeboat. And the launcher is now pulling the lifeboat back in. We were in, um, in our room when we heard this loud bang and all the seagulls and birds took off and it was the um, call out for the lifeboat. And the lifeboat is now being towed on to the launcher. The uh, men with the hoses there, they're hosing all the all the sand and all the salt off the off the lifeboat launcher. Apparently they have to completely wash every part of the lifeboat after every um, call out to get rid of the salt and the sand. Certainly dog friendly here, they provide a dog bag with balls, uh, treats and dog beer would you believe it or not. Sunday morning we, we woke to this beautiful sunrise. It was a lovely day so we decided to go and see if we could find some seals. There we have seals resting in Mutton Cove. The seals um, come and rest when the tide is low and then when the tide comes in they go out looking for food. It's about half a mile walk from where we um, parked the car, but well worth it. You have to um, time your visit so you arrive at low tide or nearly at low tide, otherwise they're all out to sea. From um, Mutton Cove where the seals were, we walked a few hundred yards around to see Godrevy Lighthouse. There's Coast Guard Search and Rescue and they're having um, a practice. He's alive! We then decided to find the beach so uh, Joey could have a bit of a run. And we're looking down on Towins and then further across to Hale Beach. And then, if you 
come across to the right, you might be able to see St Ives. I think um, B and Ollie would uh, would like it here because there's some really good surfing waves. Ollie in particular, because there's some quite big ones. Takes me back to my days, to my youth when I used to go surfing at Croyd. We had a, quite a scramble going down over these rocks to the beach and an even harder one coming up. What say you, Georgia? <laughs> we then uh, went back to St Ives for a coffee and um, a wander around. And what did I do? Made sure I got it on film. St Ives is full of narrow alleyways like this. And another little alley which we're going to go up. We have a choice, we can go left or right. We're going to go right. And then up some steps. More alleyways and another and another going off to the right, another going off to the left. There are five beaches surrounding St Ives. This one is Porth Moor Beach, um, one used by surfers, but um, the waves are much smaller here than they are at Gogliani, so I suppose you have uh, less experienced surfers. This is Porth Gwydden Beach where we took Joey for a little run. It was off here where we saw this year and last year, the dolphins. Last year we saw hundreds here. It was George's birthday, so we went out for a meal and it was very nice, very tasty. And we both enjoyed it. It's Monday morning. Um, it's the last day of a, a wonderful few days in St Ives and um, just taking Joey out for an early morning walk. And getting the beautiful sunrise again. Really, really stunning. Sunrise at St Ives Harbour. And that's the end of our film and the end of our holiday.